Nano Precise is uh, going down a path right now where it could be a few things, but my personal opinion is it's going to be huge. You know, like we, again, this series, we've, we've managed to secure a Series A funding round, and that's going to help us accelerate our growth. So that's fantastic. And we're on, we're on the trajectory. You know, there's going to be winners and losers in this space. Uh, and like most things that are in, in their infancy, they will expand with lots of competitors, and then they will collapse down to a, few, a handful of winners. I think Nano Precise is going to be one of the winners. Uh, and I, I think that's already showing with some of the investment we've received, uh, as well as some of the customers we've managed to bring on board who know their stuff. They, uh, they put us through the ringer, and that tends to be where we win, is with customers who are educated, which tells me that we know what we're doing. Uh, and, you know, we are really excited about the potential with uh, the investment from uh, Sensata Technologies. And again, they're a pretty sizable organization, and they know what they're doing. So that I think we're going to be really big. Now, how big? Uh, great question. You know, it depends a little on uh, if we get more investment or how fast we grow. Five years from now, I'd love to see us. You know, in you know, with installed applications in 50 countries, you know, 100 million in revenue a year would be great. Uh, you know, if if uh, we're that big, you'll probably have seen us also acquire a couple of other companies uh, if we aren't acquired by somebody else in the process, because that could happen too. And it's not necessarily about trying to exit fr fr right away for us, but if somebody comes to us and says, hey, we could help you uh, grow so much faster if you were part of our organization directly. And I've worked with some really big companies. Uh, you know, Most of them talk about innovation. What they really mean is that they're really good at spotting innovation and then turning you know, a $50 million company into a billion dollar company uh, because they have all these sales channels all throughout the world and they can put you in 190 countries tomorrow. Uh, so that's an interesting prospect for a startup where you can go, hey, you know, it's not just purely about the financial exit, but it's about how fast can we grow and make sure that we're a winner.